Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Today is my third vlog ever um, and we're gonna do quite a lot of beauty stuff. I'm gonna go to Sephora um, because there's the Sephora sale started today. I already put in an order so I'm gonna just pick that up and um, I'm gonna wash my hair today. I had so many questions about my hair, how I style it and all that. So I'm gonna do that today. Uh, I'm getting actually some hair products. So I kinda wanna try those from Sephora. So I wash my hair after and we're getting the new Rare Beauty foundation. So we're also gonna test that out and just wear it throughout the day and see how it does. So yeah, let's go to Sephora. We are on our way to Sephora. I have my daughter in here with me and I got a camera holder that way I can actually record in the car um, and we can just talk about makeup for 30 minutes until I get there so we got back home from the mall we went to Sephora and grabbed everything we needed the only thing that I ordered was the Patrick Ta uh, eyeshadow palette that already shipped so I'm excited for that one because I love the old one. Um, go potty, mommy. Um, and yeah, my daughter and I were at Sephora and she got a treat and then we're home eating lunch. I'll show you what I'm eating. This is avocado toast with some bacon, some sweet potato fries, and that's about it. Um, but I'm gonna eat this then i'm going to take a shower and i'll show you guys how i style my hair i just finished cleaning the whole kitchen it was quite a disaster but um it's all clean and i put luca to bed luca's the baby um and i'm about to take a shower this is the product that i wanted to try um i don't know how to pronounce this i want to butcher it jisoo Anyway, but I heard good things about it and I like the way it smelled. Uh, so I'm gonna put this mask on and then we're gonna, I think this is a um, spray for your hair and then this is an oil. So I'll just use them today and let you guys know what I think. And yeah, I'm gonna jump in the shower and I'll show you guys how I style my hair. I just finished my shower. I used that mask and it felt nice. I think it's gonna take me a little bit to see if I'm really liking it. Um, but I was able to comb through my hair really easy and that's huge because my hair gets so knotty. Um, I put in my hair this Briogeo. This is the Farewell Frizz and I like it because it keeps the frizz at bay a little bit. I naturally have cur wavy curly hair. Um, so now I kind of rub that through my hair try to smooth it out a little bit and then I will blow dry my hair. Um, what I use is this one right here. I have the air wrap and I absolutely love it. Um, my hair gets quite frizzy and big so having something like this um, actually works really well for my hair. I actually don't like this and this is for my kids. I am going to use this one. This works so much better with my like thicker hair so um all i'm gonna do is just blow dry my hair many times i don't even blow dry my hair now today i have stuff to do um so i will blow dry it but um sometimes i just let it air dry kind of has some frizz curl to it and then i go in with my curling iron but i'm gonna use a few other products this is the orbe volumista this is a spray and I just put it at my roots. It's, it gives quite a lot of volume. Um, I do use a lot of Orbe products just because that's what we used in the salon where I worked. Uh, and I know the products really well and I have a ton of them. Now the Orbe has heat protecting in it but when I curl my hair, I always put this one. I feel like it gives extra protection. Um, so yeah, let me blow dry my hair. It's gonna take a very long time. So I'm gonna put something to watch and we'll come back when I have to curl my hair.
I blow dried my hair most of the way. Uh, under here, I still have a little bit of just wetness. Um, I actually ended up switching to this one because this is gonna take way too long. Um, so that's why my hair gets just bigger. Um, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna separate my hair and kind of start curling it. But uh, if I feel like there's a part where it's a little damp, I will blow dry that. Yeah, I hope that makes sense. So the curling iron that I use is this one. This one is from Bionic and I love it so much. It does not pull your hair at all and it's a long barrel. So for long hair like mine, it really helps because it just, you know, goes by faster. Um, and usually I do two here in the front curls away from my face and then I um, switch towards my face away. And that gives just a little bit more movement and not just one big curl. Um, and then I try not to take necessarily thick sections, but long sections like this and not necessarily thick because that, that gives me not the desired effect. Um, and I will be spraying this before I start curling. And I don't play around. I go all the way to the 430. You don't have to, absolutely not. Uh, I just have no patience and I really shouldn't do that. But that's why I'm spraying this to kind of help it out a little bit. Move back a little bit. I don't really touch the curls. I just let them be and cool down. And then at the end, I will just, you know, rub my hands through them. finished curling my hair and obviously it's quite curly but we're gonna mess it up I want it to cool down first and I'm gonna have two products I'm gonna have an oil and a texturizing spray this is the dry powder finishing spray but it's pretty much like a texturizing spray this is from Kevin Murphy um, and it's great you can use any texturizing sprays honestly as long for me I need grip um, because I have a lot of hair, it's gonna fall. So I need something that has a grip that way when I put my hands in it, it will mess it up. So let's try this oil. Let me smell it first. I don't really smell much. I'm gonna put a little bit here. I am quite fussy with oils. I smell a little bit, but not a ton. Um, I do like a specific hair oil. I think I got spoiled using so many good, amazing products that when I use something less, I'm like, oh, that didn't do enough. But um, see how this does. So I kind of use my hands to break up the curls. quite curly but it'll it'll calm down and then I'm gonna take this and really spray a lot I'll move back so you guys can see is this healthy for you no you should not be around this much spray I'm gonna flip my hair forward
And voila. I also have a powder that I use in my hair if I feel like it's falling. But yeah, this is how it's looking like. And it's just gonna get, every, every time I do it, it's different. But yeah, this is how we're looking today. Now I need to go get dressed and start filming. We need to make a coffee first, of course. So let's do that. I just finished recording. I finished the new Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Collection. It is the, her new eyeshadow and look at my highlighter. It's really beautiful. It should be out before this vlog, um, but it is time for coffee. Um, actually, the kids went to a birthday party. I was supposed to go with them, but I was in the middle of recording and we weren't gonna make it. So they just left without me. Vlogging stresses me out because I don't know how to hold the camera and do things. Uh, so I put you guys down there. I'm gonna take this cup. I'm doing an iced latte, so let me grab the milk. I use Fairlife because I, it's creamier. Um, and then we have our espresso machine, which you've probably seen um, in a few of my videos. Andrew is very much into coffee um, and he got this really nice machine right here. I don't know the name of it, but you could probably find it somewhere. Um, when I had Luca, which is the baby, he got one baby, I had the other. Uh, so I'm just using these beans right now. This is the counter culture coffee. Um, Andrew used to roast beans, but we got so busy that he doesn't have time to roast beans. So we're using just whatever, like we're picky about the coffee beans that we use, but we're not stuck on one brand. Like there's so many different coffee shops that we can pick up some. And also Whole Foods has fresh roast, good coffee beans from local coffee shops. In our, like we live in Nashville, so. I measure the beans here and then put them in the hopper because Andrew said we don't want to have them there before because it's not fresh. So yeah, I'm gonna roast this and it's super loud, so I'll skip that. I got my shot right here and I usually put palm sugar, I try to not eat like straight up sugar, I actually never do. Um, so I'm gonna put about, because it's iced, it needs a little bit more. So I put like eight grams of that. Um, I never would have measured if Andrew wouldn't have pushed me to measure. He's such a precise person. I'm just such a feely, like, it's how it feels like um, that's why he gets so much more done. And voila, um, my latte is done. And I need now to import the video I just recorded. And I'm quite fast. I record, edit, and put it up the next day. I know it's best to just have a planner and plan things. I just don't function well like that in life. Um, I just, when I do something, I do it all at once. I need to get better at just organizing and just planning out my content and things like that. And mostly with kids, I think it's hard because even if I plan something, if the baby's wide awake and loud, like we definitely can't do that. So I just did when I can and there's no rhyme or reason. I try to put the newest videos, like the, the videos that are relevant to that day. So 
the Charlotte Tilbury just came out. I just received it today. I'm gonna make it go live tomorrow. Um, obviously the Sephora VIB sale, I'm not gonna do it after the sale's over or started. So I try to be conscious about that. Um, but as in planning a month ahead, my content, I'm not good at that. And I don't know if I ever will be. I want to, but I don't know. Okay, that is importing. And so today, what else do I have to do? I am gonna try to edit some of that, but the kids are gonna be back from the birthday party soon. I need to clean up just a little bit. There's some trash there that I need to take out. Um, the kitchen's kind of clean. And Andrew and I are going out tonight. We have dance classes, like ballroom dancing. Um, for Valentine's Day, he got me these classes for ballroom. And they're fun it's kind of nice because it's private so we learn like the basics uh andrew did some ballroom dancing like salsa before i think it was salsa um and he's much better at it than i am um so yeah it's gonna be nice and we have reservation to one of our favorite local uh, restaurant it's called ralph and daughter it's a nice environment it's definitely upper scale like it's not cheap but uh it's nice because you can get a lot of little small plates and just taste different things they have great drinks as well that we can take pictures of so we can recreate it at home um and yeah i think it's going to be a great night we really needed a date night i think we've done so much lately we've done stuff around the house a lot um we try to keep the house clean. It's a decently big house, so there's a lot to do. Um, and I think it's it's gonna be a nice night. So yeah, that's the plan tonight. I'm just gonna sit here, drink my coffee, start editing, and I'll show you guys a little bit tonight on our date. I did forget to mention um, the spray oil. I'll show you guys. This room is so cool tone and <laughs> My living room is so warm. Um, wow. Uh, this is the spray oil that I used in my hair and it really made it smell really nice. I enjoyed it. Um, I think it's cool. I've never tried a spray oil in my life and I thought that that was kind of nice. See how, how much warmth it's here. It's the lights because they're on. Um, I am still very intimidated by vlogging just because of the light that is the only reason because i don't know how to control the light i don't know um just th this camera very well it's a vlogging camera but i'm willing to try to get better if you guys enjoy this kind of content uh, but if not don't let me struggle so we are on our way to the dance class we um we have to charge our car and today I drove all the way like 30 minutes out and in the morning I was like huh the car isn't very charged and then um, tonight we realized that it wasn't plugged in well so we need to go and charge the car somewhere after the dance so we can make it to our dinner reservation first world problems I know but yeah we're on our way it's date night. It's been a while since we've been on a date, hasn't it? We tried to schedule this like two times and had to keep rescheduling it. Yeah, it's it's hard because we schedule it and then if we don't have a babysitter, we just have to reschedule the class. So anyway, it should be it should be fun. I wish we could go to the mall, but we can't because we have to charge the car. We finished dancing. It was good, she huh? Great. I did awful. <laughs> I kept messing up the steps. I was uh, the charge. The cars are charging, so we're walking in to Target. Of course, Luca needs some little shoes because he literally has absolutely no shoes. Um, poor guy. We just got him shoes not too long ago, like a month. The Amazon one, yeah. and they're already too small. So we're gonna find some cute shoes for him. He's like in between sizes, so we just have to size up. 
so he can have some little shoes. Size five. I think he's a size six. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, I think there's some here. He needs to be something like this. Like, there you go. Size skin. six. These are ugly. Going to her favorite section. Yes, the home stuff. I literally have so much she of wants this. For back. <laughs> I have so many vases at home. Oh, it's ridiculous. I do. I really do. Wouldn't that be nice? Like with a bunch of candles, cause okay. I need to send Chantel this. I bet she would say it's okay. We have like a ten foot table, um, so we can never find decorations for the table. I want to get this. Two or three. I feel like you need three. I can get three in if I don't like yeah, it. You always take one out. Huh? You always take one out. Yeah. All right. Done. So we got a drink. What was this? Nice. A wise decision. So funny. I have no idea. It's a tequila. The tequila base. It has a lot of sage, right? Lime. Yep. Mm. It's really good. Really good. This is my kind of drink. It's um, very good, very balanced. It's not too strong. Give me one try. It's not too sweet. No, it's really good. And also, we got their sourdough, which is the best ever. This is amazing. It's good, huh? I'll take a picture of the recipe. Yeah, oh, we need to take a picture of the recipe. Too good. I got a ravioli, sweet pea, something. That's all I know. So it's just one big piece of ravioli, and that's about it. <laughs> and then you have some mushroom with like Pork, right? Yeah. No, it's a green um, pasta. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. With some mushroom and uh, cheese on top. Okay. This has a whole egg yolk inside, egg inside. So when you squish it, it all comes out. It's, it's one big. Um, it's, yeah. Ravioli. Very good, very unique. And we have another drink. Wait, let's try that one too. Oh, very nice. Great food. It's not that one. Alright, what are you trying? We tried sourdough ice cream. And it's really interesting. It has like bread crumbs on top. But this tastes like... Almost like a salted caramel ice cream, but not sweet, like in a good way. Yeah. Right? How would yeah, you describe I it? So. I'll be taking the bite to see. I almost forgot to finish the vlog. Uh, I took my makeup off, did my skincare. I am in bed, and I am editing the video for tomorrow. It's pretty much almost done like 80 percent done it is 1 a.m 110 um so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i am gonna probably edit a little bit more and then go to bed so i hope you guys have a good one and i'll see you in my next video bye